So we are very fortunate, I think, um, compared to other studio apartments we've lived in to have a few cupboards. Yeah, we actually have like decent storage space, even though it is a studio. So we got these like little boxes here, just so that we could use the space a little better because they are just basic shelves. And so the boxes help separate things that you don't want all just kind of tangled together. And it's nice because we obviously have like one whole cupboard that's dedicated to my clothes, joking, mine and Michael's clothes as well as uh, this area, which is dedicated to the other things that you know you don't need every day. So like linens or winter clothes or you know electrical items and stuff like that. Uh, so it's nice to be able to separate the two and it's great to have the space to be able to do that. Okay, but seriously, I do have a lot of clothes. I am a girl, guilty. So when it came to having like smaller storage spaces, we really had to utilize who gets what? So basically, um, hanging space is always going to be an issue when it comes to studio living. Sometimes you get dresses, sometimes you don't. So if you can go to IKEA and like maximize a vertical sort of storage space, then that's always going to help with the amount of clothes that you have. Girls, you're welcome. And obviously hanging space, the more organized you can keep it, it's just going to be less cluttered down the road. Um, I want to show you this side because Michael's is a lot messier, no jokes. This is still all my side. This is, these are my shirts, these two. <laughs> I get to wear them every now and again. If he's lucky, if he's lucky. No, but it is important obviously to make the most of a smaller space. So where you can store things um, that don't need to be hung, you can always do that and you're gonna get more in for less space, which is super important as well. We do like having an open space for entertaining purposes and the furniture being so lightweight from Ikea really accommodates that. So it's nice because we've usually just flipped this around, moved a little Ottoman footstool um, to make it a more welcoming, inviting open space so everyone feels like they're a part of the action. Little key here too is when we bought this couch, it was great because the Ottoman actually doubles as like a storage area. So you can put like little knickknacks, we've got like our grocery bags and larger bags down there and no one has to see it because it's tucked away in there. But it's nice because it does open everything up and that way, you know, when you do have people over, everyone can talk and no one's excluded because they're in a separate room. Everyone's here and involved. I do like to keep everything clean because then it just, it feels bigger than it actually is. We don't have too, much, too many things on the benches. I think the, the main thing is when you have a smaller kitchen is you gotta find stuff that's stackable and like a lot of containers to keep all your things in because then you can stack that on top of itself. Totally, you really have to work out how to like maximize your space best. So if you know you don't have a lot of room for a lot of appliances on the counter that you aren't gonna be using, then you don't need it, you know what I mean? Or make sure that you have a drawer that it's gonna fit in. So a lot of our drawers do have our blenders in them because we bought smaller blenders, you know what I mean? We're not making like industrial size, like soups yeah. or anything like that. So just make sure when you are buying, you're buying for your space. 